Chapter 2, Girls Are Better Kay Lee is sitting in her high chair banging on the tray while Dad is trying to get her food ready. As soon as she sees me, she holds out her arms. It's lunchtime, I say, patting her head. We can play later. How was Chinese, Dad asks. Fine. I can tell he's not listening because Dad can't do more than one thing at a time, and he's busy cutting a hamburger into small pieces. I take my seat by the window. Before mom and dad left for China to get Kaylee, Camille's mom gave us a baby shower. We got a high chair and a car seat and sippy cups. Everything is pink because people know that when you go to China to adopt a baby, it's a girl. Ken said he wanted a baby brother instead, but mom said there are not many baby boys to adopt in China unless they have health problems. When I asked why, Mom said that in China, some people favor boys. Kaylee is starting to fuss. Dad gives her a piece of bread. She plays with it, but she doesn't take a bite. Rice is better, Mom says, picking up the bowl of rice that Dad heated up. She puts the spoon close to Kaylee's mouth. Kaylee opens her mouth like a baby bird. She chews for a minute, then makes a funny face and spits out the rice. It dribbles down her chin. Maybe she's not hungry yet, I say. She's not used to our food yet, Mom says. Don't they eat a lot of rice in China? Rice here and rice there is not the same, Mom says. When I first came from China, I didn't like this rice either. Mom wipes Kaylee's mouth with a washcloth. How long did it take until you got used to it? Mom tries to remember. Two or three years, I think. We can't wait that long, I say. Maybe we can get some Chinese rice at the Asian food store. Kaylee takes her hand that has some that has rice stuck to it and rubs her head so that there is rice mashed in her hair. I put a slice of apple on her tray. She picks it up and turns it this way and that. Mmm, good, I say, taking a slice myself and putting it into my mouth. Mmm, Kaylee says. She sucks on the apple for a minute. Do you, want a, do you want a hamburger? Mom asks. Mom makes the best hamburgers in the world with lots of Chinese spices in them. She calls them Chinese burgers. I put one on a piece of bread, add ketchup, and cover it with another slice of bread. Look, I say to Kaylee, taking a big bite. Kaylee watches. Eat your Chinese burger, I say, pointing to the meat on her tray. She picks up one of the pieces Dad cuts cut for her, stares at it, and then tosses it onto the floor. Mom looks at Dad. A baby cannot gain weight without eating, she says. Give it time, Dad says. She'll figure things out. Mom lays Kaylee on the changing table that we put in the living room. Boo, I say, trying to distract her while Mom takes off her diaper. Mom is fast at slipping a new diaper underneath her and fastening the tabs. Why do some people like boys better in China? Boys can work on the farm and help their parents. Girls get married and leave the home. I think about Mom's sisters in China. One works in a bank and lives with Grandma Wai Po. The other teaches music in a nearby elementary school. That's not true about girls anymore, I say. But some people don't change their thinking. Did your parents wish you were a boy? Mom snaps Kaylee's undershirt and pulls on her sweatpants. Nai Nai was a very modern person, Mom says. She did not think like this. Anyway, I'm glad we adopted a girl. A boy is good too, Mom says. Laura and Camille and I are always talking about how lucky we are to be girls. Mom sets Kaylee on her feet. She toddles over to me and hugs me around my legs. Girls, they hug more and they talk more too. Not always, Mom says, handing me Kaylee's jacket. My father used to hug me more than my mother did and can talk so much. I stuff Kaylee's arms into the sleeves, then pick her up and kiss her cheek. I still think it's a, it's a good thing you're a girl. Kaylee watches my mouth while I talk. Then she rubs her face in my sweater. As soon as mom buckles Kaylee into her car seat, she starts crying. I sing to her the gumdrop song a bunch of times. Then we have to wait at the first intersection because of a train, and she starts whimpering again. Mom keeps looking at the clock. Look, Kaylee, I said, a train. Choo, choo. Kaylee stares out the window. Her cheeks look bigger than they used to, and she has a double chin. Maybe that means she gained weight. E, er, san, si, wu, I say. One, two, three, four, five trains.
Kaylee watches the train cars. Finally, the caboose goes past and the wooden arm across the road goes up.